What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's talk about Shiba Inu coin, because this is something that obviously I've talked about in the past and I continue to talk about today. And people want to know where my head is when it comes to this. Also, I want to go through uh, how much will be burned off uh, in this video um, and if this will end up blowing up to something more and we can burn off a lot more and what my plan is for the future of this coin. Um, so before we get started, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one and make sure if you want to join the discord group, click the link in the description, you'll find uh, the discord group there. Also, you have the Patreon where we have a lot of different videos over there. And I want to make that more of my main source to quickly upload videos and not worry about whether it hits the masses or anything or have any clickbait titles, because if I have a support group over there then I can basically create all this content without, you know, adding in all this fluff saying, hey, hit the subscribe button and all that stuff. If people are just liking the videos over there, that's good enough for me. They're letting me know what's the detail in the description or in the uh, comment section below uh, of how they feel about it, then that's great. So definitely go and check out the Patreon. The more we have over there, the more we build, the better the community actually gets. So let's look at uh, Shiba Inu today. What we're going to do first is we're going to look into these articles, right? Um, and just talk about it a little bit, just because I wanted to, uh, let you guys know if I'm, if I feel or how I feel about some of these things. So, uh, apparently, you know, we saw a, before a person that invested $8,000 in August of 2020, I believe, and turned that into $5 billion, right? Of Shiba. And now you're seeing somebody in the beginning of the year of uh, this year, turn $8,000 uh, into $1 million. And that's great to be able to turn that into $1 million and that he could now retire or this person can now retire. Um, and it, the way that I look at this, um, can you retire off of $1 million? No, I don't think you can. Can you quit your job off of $1 million and expect to have maybe uh, um, a job or a business and investing a side business and investing or whatever you want to do. Yes, you can always do that. Um, but you have to have something set up beforehand. So to retire off of $1 million, wouldn't say that's the, the best, uh, look about it, but this played out the way that he wanted it to. Now, when you see these type of things, what does that make you want to do? You probably want to go and take $8,000 and put it on the next coin or put it on Shiba right now and wait for this to blow up. Well, just know that right now to do that with Shiba, uh, yes, you would get a lot of coins, but I think it's too late to really see that massive growth from a very, very small price all the way up to a crazy price. You know what I mean? So if you want it to go now, we're just looking for it to go to one cent or we're looking for it to go to a penny or sorry, we're looking for it to go to a dollar um, or things like that. How does it get there with a massive burn rate? So um, now people are looking for the next coin. So I just want to make it known that it's not something that's normal. If you have the money to put towards things like that, then it's always great to make a bet like that and and feel like, you know, or get validated in those instances. Because while this person is validated and gets uh, $1 million, it's the next person that lost a lot of money and didn't hold on to it while it fell down. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I wanted to make a point here and just let you guys know that. Um, that's where my head is, um, when it comes to investing a large sum into a, a coin that yes, has a reasonable chance of growing quite a bit, but at this point you don't need to risk that much, uh, to get, uh, that level. Now I know, uh, you can do that on other coins, but you know, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about Shiba Inu coin. Um, we're going to look at Shiba Inu coin here. Um, another article that says, uh, Robin Hood says it might not need, uh, coins like Shiba Inu. Uh, on its platform when uh, this is uh, directly uh, related to a lot of comments that they're getting saying, hey, why aren't you listing this on Robinhood when Dogecoin was like one of the first cryptos that you, it, it probably was the first crypto that you put onto the platform. You listed that very, very quickly, right? At 0 0.002 cents or 0 0.0002 cents. I can't remember exactly what it was, um, but you're listing it at this low price, but you're not listing Shiba Inu when something like Coinbase already listed it, when when other platforms have listed it as well. So this is another uh, concern with people is why they won't list it on Robinhood because Robinhood actually has a lot of push in here. And you can see this price spike quite a bit just based on people holding it on Robinhood. The only thing I don't like about that, um, holding it on Robinhood, is that more people are likely to sell it rather than get anything else out of it. Because if you don't, 
If you don't understand what the difference is between Coinbase and Robinhood, it's Coinbase is that you have it on your own exchange or wallet. You can transfer it to anywhere that you want. Robinhood, you cannot. So the only thing you can really do is sell it and gain your profit and all that stuff. So that's why I wanted to talk about that. But Robinhood still hasn't listed uh, Shiba Inu from what I understand and uh, is saying that it doesn't need coins like Shiba Inu. It doesn't mean that it's not going to list it. It just means that they're just trying to, you know, have some sort of comment and say that, you know, we don't need it. Um, but whenever it comes, it comes, we're taking our time. And there's other articles that I've seen saying that they've taken their time. Now let's look into the detail of what did happen with Shiba Inu today. Um, so Shiba Inu is currently at 0 0.00005555, right? It sounds like a phone number. Um, it's at that price, right? This is a definite um, increase from where we did see it at 0.00005551 or 550, right? Now, you could see throughout the day, throughout this day, um, it pretty much increased the whole entire time. So you could see here, if we're looking at a week, uh, we're looking at over to today. Where does it get to today? I don't know why Coinbase is just so messed up with this because it never really looks the right way. You have to kind of look at it on Robinhood to actually see um, what's going on here. But through the day, it had a consistent upward trend, consistent upward trend where it created higher highs, higher lows. It was showing a solid upward trend and it was definitely running in the direction that a lot of people want it to go. Um, and uh, a lot of people were asking me in the stream, asking if it was if it was running. And yes, it was confirmed that it was running. It wasn't something that was um, breaking all time highs. That's what we were waiting for. Once it breaks that level, then you'll see an influx of FOMO buying and popularity and all that stuff. But we haven't seen that uh, recently. It's just a good um, increase that we did see from uh, yesterday at point zero 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 four nine cents um, all the way up to this high of point zero 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 uh five eight cents um and now you can see this as it's getting close to the end of the day we're seeing this actually uh decrease here so um the whole entire day was really consistent really consistent and uh increased here and actually ran throughout the morning time so anyways um now we gotta address the the elephant in the room and the whole circulating supply and where this will be short term versus long term is this something that is sustainable at these prices are you looking for a gain right now well when it comes to that question i'm not looking for a gain right now everybody knows my strategy my strategy is literally to hold on to this for three to ten years i'm not looking for anything to increase right now i could care less to what it does if it decreases all the way down to point zero 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 one cent then i'm fine with it i will take that and I will buy a bunch and I will burn a bunch because obviously I still have to go through that burn. Um, but what I'm looking for out of this is a large gain over a long period of time. The reason why I'm doing this is because you think about Bitcoin, you think about Ethereum and you think about all these coins that are in the high price ranges. Um, when it started, when you saw Bitcoin, you know, starting, you know, you, you saw it down in those hundred ranges, you saw it down in those $10 ranges, you saw it at $2,000. And now it's at $67,000. Can I expect something as big as that? I wouldn't expect anything as big as that. It can get to that point. If enough uh, get burned off, you never know. But that's the idea is that you never know what could happen. You never know. So this is why you find a way to keep some of these coins, no matter what you hold, you hold on to some of them. You hold on to one. No matter what I sell, if it gets to a high number, like say Farmcoin, if Farmcoin grows to a level of you know two thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, and I sell the position, well, am I going to sell all thirty? No, I'm not going to sell all thirty. I'm going to sell probably twenty five of it. I'll keep five in there to keep in there for life because if that grows from the level that it's at all the way up to a hundred thousand dollars when now i just gained an extra five hundred thousand dollars for it do you know what i mean so you never know what it can be if it comes back on you it comes back on you but if you leave something in the tank it can be huge it can be massive um yes you're leaving money on the table but it can be massive so that's what i'm looking to get out of shiba inu currently where it has the 549 trillion dollar trillion supply I think that can go down to a level of 549 million. You never know. It doesn't have a minimum that can be, uh, that has to be held in there. It doesn't have a maximum that can be burned off. It, it doesn't have any of that. So if we can physically burn literally 99% of the coin, which it seems like the concept of it from the start 
is to burn off as much as you can because they burned off half of the coin, almost half of the coin um, right from the start. So that's my mindset going into it. I don't know where your head is. I know people want to see short-term growth, but I'm going to hold on to this for a very, very long time. And I think it will pay off in a very big way. Um, and I'm not saying, trust me, this is not financial advice. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, but that's the way that I feel about Shiba Inu. Um, now let's get into exactly what I'm going to burn off. So currently on the two burn videos that I have, um, I'm going to burn off $120 worth. I'm waiting for this to get to a, a really low price in order to have that happen. But I am going to burn off $120 worth, which will probably be what somewhere around, um, you know, 2 million, 3 million, something like that, uh, probably 2 million. Um, but I hope that I can burn off a lot more as it does go lower. I would hope that this really falls down just so that I can burn off more and more people can burn off more um, without spending a lot. So um, that's my mindset again. Um, but guys, that's my video. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you did hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, uh, let me know how this video went. I feel like it was a little bit... Um, uh, a little bit difficult in the beginning because I was trying to shove everything in a short period of time, but it ended up being like four minutes or three minutes or something. Uh, I was trying to do everything in like one minute, one and a half minutes, and that didn't work out. Um, but yeah, that's this is all um, this is all great. Just focusing on this short term, but I really think it's a long term play. So guys, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out the Discord group uh, in the description. Uh, also, signing up for the Patreon if you guys want more videos, more uh, crypto videos, and feel free to message me on there. It's private messaging over there. You can message me, let me know what you do wanna see um, because sometimes I will give you things that I'm looking at, and if you physically wanna see an analysis on a certain uh, you know, topic, I don't have to do all the fluff for YouTube, and I can just do it all on Patreon. So if you guys want that, click the link in the description. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next.